Hey guys, um, it's me again, um, the comic manga reader. Um, I just made my first YouTube video on this channel yesterday, and I've decided to make another one, um, because I'm going back to school next week, um, and I'll probably only be able to make videos during the weekends, so I just wanted to put up another video for right now. Um, and this time it's gonna be my graphic novel collection, um, if you guys seen my video from yesterday, from yesterday, from my very first video, I used to collect comic books or graphic novels in, in single issues, but, uh, I recently started collecting them more in, in graphic novels, um, so yeah, guys, um, let's, let's look at these, okay, so, here we got Watchmen. Um, I haven't read it yet. But of course, they say it's uh, a classic, you know, for for graphic novels. So yeah, and I really do like that cover. Um, also I got the Superman Golden Age Volume One. I don't know if I'll be able to. I don't know if I'll be reading this. Is the the, the like, because it is from, you know, late 30s, 40s, um, this volume, so, the, the writing at that time for comics, well, it wasn't bad, but it, it was very different, um, and I got Green Arrow, Kevin Smith, I wanted to read something about Green Arrow, because um, I never collected anything in single issues, so, I think this was a good start, um, Flashpoint, read this, this is amazing, um, I really did love it, um, I'm not gonna say any spoilers, um, but if you guys haven't read it yet, um, I suggest that you do read it, because it is absolutely amazing, I'll just put it down right there for now, um, next we've got The Flash Rebirth, right here. Really nice um, book here. Um, I liked it. It's not bad, but I I prefer the Flashpoint. Um, but it it still isn't bad. Um, tells you some stuff that are new, kind of. Um, but it's pretty good. Um, next, I haven't read this one, The Flash: Speed of Darkness, um, Volume Two of The Flash Rebirth. This I. It's the only, it's, no, it's just, I've got only two things of Rebirth, this is the, the first one of the two, Volume 2, um, I have to pick up Volume 1, but I picked this up for, like, like, super cheap, I picked this up for, like, four dollars, um, so yeah, I had to pick it up, um, and I knew I might, I might be going back to Rating volume one, so yeah. Um, the next up we got it's a really nice cover. Batman, the Flash, the Button. Um, really nice. I can't wait to read it. I haven't read it yet. Batman, the Killing Joke. Um, of course, read this. Um, really good. Um, another classic. Right there, guys. It's it's even if you're not a, a Batman fan or a, or a Joker fan, the way this story is is put into place is just amazing, and it it is very you know strong. You know some controversial stuff in here, but this is I I'd say more of that this is a Joker book than any other thing. I I wouldn't say that this is a Batman technically. Batman does appear here. Um. But this really does give a good origin story of the Joker. Um, our next book, uh, the very first graphic novel that I bought was Batman R.I.P. Um, I really didn't like it. I heard that you need to read a couple other stuff um, to really understand this. But I, I, I kind of didn't like it. It wasn't really my thing. Um, uh, when I used to collect... Um, graphic novels, uh, when I used to collect, uh, single issues, um, Grant Morrison was a, 
hit or miss for me pretty much um and this was a miss um i, I really don't like it um next one right here we've got batman earth one um yeah new york says a new york times bestseller i've got to read it um heard it's amazing i like it volume two oh, that's where it's volume two I see that two face in the background um then we've got here i showed this in my haul video of yesterday let's take that into the frame um we got batman dark prince charming volume one and volume two okay um next we've got here batman the black mirror haven't read it yet but i heard it was good too um it's a different i think it's like a different person in the in the cow um i think it's one of the robins i think it's like if i'm if i'm wrong I don't, I'm, I don't know if I'm wrong, but I think it's Dick Grayson. Batman Under the Red Hood. Anything that's got to do with um, the Red Hood, I will pick it up. Um, I've just always liked that character. I don't know why. Batman Hush right here. heard it was a classic, so I had to buy it. I haven't read it yet, though. Batman The Long Halloween. I just finished reading this a couple days ago. Um, amazing. It really is amazing. Um, it really does live up to the expectations that people are talking about this. Um, it's, 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 it's fantastic. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, I'm reading Dark Victory now. So yeah, I'm into the, I think this is a pretty good series right here that that Jeff Lowe went himself done. So yeah. And Dark Victory, the first I'm in like chapter five. I think yeah. I'm a no, I just finished chapter five and I'm in chapter six and it's decent. It's not bad. Um Batman Year One, and you can see I put a little a postcard right there to put as a as a um bookmark. Um uh Supposedly it's good. It's not bad since what I've been reading. Um, gotta finish it, of course, to see if it really is that good. And I think it is good. I think it's gonna be good. So, um, yeah. But I've been really enjoying the. Like I've only gotten like 30 pages in, but it's it's not. Bad. Okay. So next, we've got now. Though that was my. Oh wait, no, we got one more. We've got Superman, Batman, Public Enemies. I haven't read it yet. We've got Spider-Man, The Amazing Origins. Absolutely amazing, guys. Um, it really is. I wouldn't pick it up for the price that I paid, but if you can find it for less than like $12, I'd say pick it up. Um, Spider-Man the Lifeline Tablet Saga. I have to read this. So, yeah. Of course, next one we've got here is Civil War. Um, you know, a, a, a classic for, for Marvel right here. Amazing. It really is good. We've got here Deadpool, Dead Presence. I totally forgot that I had this. And I need to really read it because I do like that cover. I don't know why. It just looks cool. So, yeah. This next one Super Small Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. I need to re read Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe again. It's like the second volume, you can say. Um, I read this one and it was funny. At the same time, serious. At the same time, it shows uh, his craziness. His, his really. How his brain really works. Um, Deadpool's brain. Um, Wolverine, Old Man Logan. Um, I don't know if if this uh, if the movie got a lot from this comic, from this graphic novel, but I have to read it. 
I'm to find out. There, the devil right here, the man without fear. I'm gonna have to read it too. So yeah. Now those are that's my Marvel um, section right there. But now we've got here V for Vendetta, a classic. I like watching. Uh, by Alan Moore also. Um, I heard it was good, just not as good as Watchmen, but I still wanted to pick it up. Next one, this is a pretty unique um, graphic novel. Um, it collects the whole series and the whole. It was a pretty. I think it was a mini series, yeah. Um, this one is about a psychopath or something like that. Um, yeah, his girlfriend is like a. It's like a doll or something, and it's super weird, but it's made by Image, you know, or Images, you know, the company that's behind this book. Um, so I had to pick it up, and I got it for like $10, so, new, so, it's not bad. Um, High Crimes, I'm in, the, the, the bookmark somewhere in there, but, um, I'm in like 12, 14 pages into it, um, it's not bad, I can't really say anything right now, um, because it is just a 14, 15 page, um, that I've been in, that I've been into this book, but it seemed, it's starting to seem good, so yeah. A book that, I don't know why, I couldn't get in this book, um, and it's got to do something with, all you need is kill, but, you know, because, because every time there's a, this has got to do with. Um, you know, he dies and then he like he goes into another life But I feel like because he goes into another life the way that if they put It into this book. I, I really didn't like it. So hopefully I, I, I like the all you need is kill for the manga Because um, it's got like some Some themes in there that they share some themes there. They they're not in any way like you know like that that the stories connect with each other, but They've got the same concept, like, someone dies and, like, they relive. They, they don't relive, but, like, he, he, in this book, they, he, he dies and he goes to another life. And, like, a, a reincarnation of another person. I just did, I couldn't get into it. Um, I, I stopped reading that. And I, I just couldn't get into it. Um, so, yeah. I hate Fairyland. This, I literally found it for free. Uh, I went to a comic shop. Um, and I told the, 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 the guy there had this. And it was, he says he found it in like a, in like a garage sale or something. And they put it up uh, to grab. Like if you buy something, like you can get this one. For free, um, and I went like, okay. So I just picked it up. Um, Saga Volume One. I have to read this. I heard it was a, 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 not like I guess you can say a classic for indie comics. Um, the Walking Dead. Oh, I just noticed that it's, um, it's two and one, but I need to put it as one and two, um, for an order, to be in order. But this, read the first volume. I liked it, but then I decided after, and then we haven't read volume two, but I just decided, look, there's like 30 volumes for this, and like each book is like, what, four to fifteen dollars, um, you know, you can, you can guys put the, how much it will cost in total, but it's just too much, um, you know, manga is a lot cheaper, um, and I know that there's some series out there that are like super, like 30, 40 volumes, or maybe up to like 80 volumes. Um, that's why in manga I'm gonna stick for right now for shorter series, but later on I'm gonna get into longer series. But manga is a lot cheaper than The Walking Dead, you know, for example, like $15, like that. I know that there's some manga that are, that are pricey, but I don't know why. Um, I'm just not gonna get into The Walking Dead for right now. Those compendiums are too pricey. Um, just it's just not my thing for The Walking Dead. But at least I have volumes one and two there. And then we got here. I really want to get uh, more volumes for this or more. I only have book one. 
Um, I need to get book two, book three. I think it goes like up to like book six. Um, absolutely amazing, guys. This is. I was blown away by the first book. I'm like, oh my gosh, this this thing is really good. Um, it is pricier than The Walking Dead, but The Walking Dead, like I said, it's got like 30 volumes. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I definitely do not want to get into that. And it's like, this one's $20 each, but it's a lot less in total than what you would pay for The Walking Dead, which I think is just a little bit too much um, for me right now at this moment um so yeah guys that's my graphic novel um collection i guess you can say um or trade paperback collection um but yeah this is really i really do like my collection i know it's gonna grow a lot more than this but for right now i am content and happy with this um what of series that i after i finished reading the dark victory one that I really, really, really want to read is, um, sorry, this one, Batman, the Dark Prince, Charming, I don't know, I just, the, the cover, like, um, it, I've, heard, I've read some descriptions about it, and I just really wanted to read this, um, so yeah, and then probably right after this, I'm gonna go to the Black Mirror, because, um, Bruce Wayne not being in the cow and and Batman being a different person. Um, I want to see the perspective of how Dick Grayson does um, Batman. So it's good. that's going to be good, cool. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, I might uh, show, because I might sell off my comic books. Um, might or might not. My, my single issues, not my graphic novels. My single issues, because like I said, guys, I don't, re I don't pick up any more. Um, single issues, I just, you know, it's going back and forth, um, to the comic shop, just for a single issue, um, I really didn't think, uh, it's worth it, so, um, at least not for me, you know, maybe in another lifetime, but, um, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and take care.